Yo, 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 Magic here with another YouTube video, and what is this? Yes, it is World Out War gameplay. No, the title of the video does say my journey. It does say, you know, my reaction of the Black Ops 3 trailer, and says Black Ops 3 information. We're all gonna get this uh, through in this video. This is just a short uh, three-minute gameplay of uh, World at War. Um, when I started my, you know, my pub stomping, if you, uh, if you will, my love of Call of Duty. So, you know, I played this uh, back on the Wii, so... When I played this back in the Wii, my uh, my uncle actually let me borrow it uh, during the summer, and I played it the whole summer when I was off school, and I was complete savage. I loved the game. I played it all day long. I wouldn't get off of it. I ignored my friends because I loved the World at War so much, and I was playing on the Wii Zapper. If you haven't played on the Wii Zapper, you do not know the struggle of aiming your gun or gun skill. You don't even know what gun skill is if you never played on the Wii Zapper. That was a definition of gun skill, but... Anyways, I decided, you know, World at War was one of my favorite games. It's kind of sad to see now that World at War is all hacked, and you can't really go back to any old game and play because it's, you know, hacked, and, you know, all these faggots are on it, and, you know, I'm sorry I'll call them faggots, but they really are ruining people's experience, you know. If they're hacking their level up to, you know, Master Prestige, I'll be fine because it's not affecting me, but these hackers do affect, you know, my KD on here, but whatever, it's an old game. Um, there was an actual hacker in this game, but this hacker actually didn't kill anybody. All he did was spin around in circles, and when people knifed him, people were like, Oh, he's the hacker. But he did not kill anybody, which is pretty funny. But, back to it. Um, to World at War, where I started. I started on here. This is by far the most fun I've ever had. Or when, you know, This is where I pretty much hooked onto Call of Duty. My favorite and the most fun I've ever had was on Black Ops 1. That's where I started making friends and having memories and... You know, playing as a team and playing kind of competitively, not competitively, but playing pubs and trying to win. Um, you know, I, I've always tried to play competitively. And on World at War, you know, this is where I kind of got hooked on it. And I've only played it for like three months and I got, uh, you know, Black Ops 1 and 360. And um, on the Wii, you couldn't really make friends. So I, most of my times I used to play this by myself. So, because you couldn't make friends on here because of, you know, the friend system. You had to know their actual code. And the only way knowing their actual code was being like, personal friends with them because there was no way to contact with uh with the online players on the Wii so it was, it was completely you know by yourself individual you should get hooked up with random people and play and you know this is where I pretty much you know got hooked on Call of Duty Black Ops 1 pretty much took my heart and I fell in love with it and I played it and then MW3 came along and kind of shifted over and then Black Ops 2 came out and that's when I started my competitive you know game so um, you know, this gameplay is going to be ending it here pretty soon, so we're going to be switching over to a Black Ops 2 gameplay. Um, on Black Ops 2, this is where I went competitive. I played League Play every single day to get better at competitive before I, I you know, stepped into GBs and game battles with my team. Um, this gameplay, in particularly, is a 47 and I think 47 to 42 and 0 um, gameplay. I know I don't die at all. I just get streaks. This is one of my early teams that I played with. Um, we completely smashed the other team. It was a bunch of master divisions. And you can see I go complete ham, your boy here, Magic, dropping numbers like always for the team. And, you know, playing that OBJ role that he always does and that support role, you know. But all jokes aside, all bragging aside, you know, I don't think I'm better than anybody else. You just need to put the work in. You can be better than me, you know. But, um, Black Ops 3, my reaction to it. Um, Black Ops 3 looks like a really good game. It's just this trailer was pretty much a music video like Nate Sh said, you know, quote unquote. Um, I feel like uh, Black Ops 3 is going to be a really fun game. People are saying that it's, it's like Advanced Warfare 2.0 and it kind of pisses me off because it isn't. Um, I know some people in, in Treyarch or I know a person, one person from Treyarch uh, and he works there and I talk to him all the time and, you know, he tells me, you know, some bits and information about the game. And some YouTubers today actually got the chance to go to Treyarch Studios, or actually like a week ago or something. It was a secret thing, they didn't say anything. And they actually got to play the game and, you know, say some stuff. But I'm going to say some information I don't even think the YouTubers know. Um, I'll recap some information that I heard from YouTube and stuff like that. So, um, my reaction to it, I feel like it's too quick to judge. It's too early to, to, to judge a gameplay or game from a two-minute trailer. You have to think about it. Uh, the developers take three years to actually de uh, develop a Call of Duty game. So for, uh, for us to judge a, a game from its three-minute trailer is really stupid. Um, you know, it takes hours, hours of hours to make that game. Like, years to make that game to be what it is. And to say it's shit from a two-minute trailer really kind of buzz kills the whole vibe. Um... I feel like it's too quick to judge, but then again, there is a, a beta coming out here in a couple months, so that's when we can actually start judging the game, because uh, we actually can can play the game. And um, till then, we're, that's that's why I say I, I don't 
you know, I trust in Treyarch. All the games I played under Treyarch's, you know, name, I've had fun, you know, World at War, that's where I first got hooked. Black Ops 1 had all my favorite memories, and then Black Ops 2 was when I went competitive, and, you know, another great memory of mine. I loved Black Ops 2, I felt like it was the best competitive game out there, it was so balanced. But, you know, all, you know, everything aside, um, some information from Black Ops 3 that I, I know personally. Alright, so Black Ops 3, people are saying that it's uh, like Advanced Warfare, not because it's taking place in the future, it's because the end trailer, just like a 3 minute, or a 3 second period where the player actually jumps from, uh, from a car on top of a cliff, and it was really fast, I mean it was like less than a second, like a millisecond, and it was a really quick jump, it was like a boost up in the air like a kangaroo, and people are saying that that's the new EXO jump, okay, so there's a difference. Um, there's an EXO jump and the EXO dash or whatever it's called. They're not really the same at all. They're not the same at all. EXO jump or EXO boost, when you d double press that button and you jump up in the air, um, you actually stay up there for at least two seconds or three seconds. That's how long it takes you, or two seconds actually, to go up in the air and then you go back down. It takes you around three seconds, pretty much. The whole action takes you three seconds and you kind of you kind of increase in height really slowly. And that gives you time to have gunfights in midair. That's why people didn't like Advanced Warfare. Is because people would jump and get killed from like, you know, from above and stuff. And people did not like that. And I understand why. It's really frustrating at a competitive level too. But the EXO thrust or whatever it's called. When you jump in the air really quick. That's in milliseconds. Alright. That's in, that's, I mean, that's half a second. Imagine how fast that is. That's, you don't even, even the person jumping doesn't have not enough reflexes shoot somebody in that much of a second. I don't even think bullies can register in the, in the game engine from that fast or that fast. So I don't see the problem with it. You know, at least they're kind of fixing it. I kind of wanted Call of Duty to go back to the boots and stuff and staying on the ground like Black Ops. I kind of got bored of the jumping and stuff. But hey, you know, we're getting closer to it. Um, it, plus, when Black Ops 2 got the information about the people didn't want that anymore, it was too late. They already had two years in uh, developing. So they couldn't do anything. Maybe next year, or maybe in the next, or the next three years, when they come back, they'll have like something else. But till now, we're gonna have to deal with it, adapt to it. Um, you know, plus Treyarch has made really good games and never disappointed us. So in Vaughn, we do, we do indeed trust in Vaughn. Um, zombies gameplay, you know, everything looks the same. Dolphin diving is completely gone. Uh, it's replaced with slide. If you haven't seen, you can 360 slide. Um, yeah, the streaks, you level up streaks, but the streaks are leveled up in campaign. And I'm not sure about that multiplayer, but I think it's like modules, but you kind of level them up. And they do different stuff. Um, the swarm is back, but not as in a way of like, it's, it's a little swarm. It's like, they're called dragon or dragonflies or fireflies. And then you upgrade them and then like, and they, they wreck. Um, what else? The zombie looks cool. Zombies, I have some theories about the zombies. I'll make another video about that. I love this time of year because you just can just predict the game and make theories and stuff. And, um, what else is there? Um, old guns coming back. Just, there's a swim mechanic. You can swim underwater now. Um, people are bitching about that. I don't understand why. It's, it's, it was in Advanced Warfare. I don't know why bitch, people are bitching now. Uh, variants are gone. Like, gun variants, supply drops are gone. So no more of that bullshit, you know, obsidian steed crap. I found that to be unfair, really. And it's just, I just didn't like that. I, didn't, I don't like the pay to win method on uh, advanced supply drops. Um, what else? And the, uh, League plays back with 2.0. Uh, that's gonna be fun. And, um, that's all the information I have for right now. Um, you know, I can't really spill anything. I'm scared I might get copyrighted for even saying this. Even though the YouTuber said, okay, I'm a little YouTuber. I don't know if I'm going to get copyrighted for this. But you know, that's all the information I can say for now. You know, I'll make another vi uh, video with more information. But till next time, guys, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace out.